To start a new drawing, click this drop down arrow, click new, and since I'm using millimeters, I'm going to use Akadiso 3D template for metric units and click open. I'm going to allocate a space for my reference drawing, so I'm just going to drag this one and adjust my windows. And make sure to work on parallel projection by clicking this drop down arrow and select parallel. And I'm going to start working on the handle rod, which is this one. This time I'm going to use primitive solids and one of them is cylinder. So if you click this drop down arrow inside the modeling panel, you can find the different basic geometric shapes and one of them is cylinder. So click that and click anywhere on the screen and the diameter for this one is 5.11. So type D for diameter option, enter and enter 5.11. And enter and the height for that is 84.32 so enter 84.32 and enter I'm just gonna use zoom extends to bring this closer and the next one I'm gonna draw is this handle the ball and I'm gonna use sphere so back to modeling panel click the strap down arrow and select sphere click anywhere here Type D for diameter option and the diameter for this one is 12.3. So enter 12.3, which is this one here. All right, I'm going to poke a hole through the ball. So I'm just going to bring this to front view and make sure to turn on your, go, go down to the status bar and turn on your dynamic input, polar tracking or ortho mode. Object snap tracking, object snap, selection cycling, and 3D object snap. I'm just going to turn off the grid and change this one to X-ray so it's easier to visualize. And I'm going to draw a circle. So C for circle, right click to enter, snap the center, type D for diameter option, enter, and enter 2.06, which is this one here. Alright, hold down the shift key and the wheel of your mouse at the same time to adjust the view. And I'm going to extrude the circle. So what I'm going to do is select extrude command inside the modeling panel, snap that uh, circle. Enter and extrude it towards the direction or the opposite direction. And move this one along the Z axis vector. So just snap or this time turn on the ortho mode so this object uh, the object stays on the same axis so just slide it in towards the center and you subtract command select the ball right click and select the rod now i'm gonna poke a hole through this ball vertically and i'm gonna use this one because I'm going to insert this one later through the hole of the ball. So I'm just going to copy this object. Copy from center of the face. Snap the center. And snap it on the center of the ball. So you can see that blue color. Snap and enter. Now I'm going to move this through the object. So move. Click anywhere on the screen and move it upward. Here you go. Now I'm going to use that to subtract or poke a hole through the ball. So subtract command, select the object, right click and select this rod. I'm just going to change this first to shaded with edges so you could see what happened. So a hole through that and a hole through the side. Now I'm going to move this one, move and snap the center of that face here or end of that hole. So right click select center snap that and make sure to change this one to polar tracking so you can move the object freely and snap it to the center so shift right click center of the face of that rod and i have to poke a hole through here through the rod so what i'm gonna do is go to solid editing panel click the strap down arrow and copy it just and 
bring this closer and copy this edge. Right click and specify. So AutoCAD is asking you to specify a base point. So base point, I'm going to use that. Or you can even click it here anywhere as long as you paste it back on the same spot. So just left click. Don't move your mouse. Left click again to paste and exit. Now choose that circle and extrude it to that direction and subtract command select this rod because this is where we're gonna poke a hole right click and select this object you're gonna use and there you go the next step is to copy this one and attach it to the end so I'm just gonna use um, x-ray copy this ball copy and snap the center of that face there and attach it to the center of the face there I'm just gonna change this to shaded with edges now I'm gonna poke a hole through the end of the rod so again I'm gonna use copy edges inside the solid editing panel and bring this closer snap that Okay, again, you have to bring this closer. All right, copy edges, snap that edge there, right click, left click, left click, and click anywhere to specify a base point, and then paste it back on the same spot. Don't move your mouse, left click again to paste. Now I'm gonna grab that circle, well, or select that circle and extrude to that direction. Subtract command, select the rod, right click and select this uh, small smaller rod. Now we're done with the handle rod. The next drawing we're going to do is this color, this one here.